For Krima Media's policy, I'm Sane Lamini. Police and Prisons Civil Rights Union President Dr. Ziza Melek Kebekulu joins Polity to discuss policing issues as the union celebrates its 10th Congress. We are talking to you today as the Police and Prisons uh, Civil Rights Union is gathered to celebrate its 10th Congress in Durban. Can you briefly unpack uh, this year's theme, which is uh, building a sustainable organization in defense of collective bargaining? Yes, uh, thank you very much. And thank you to, to your viewers. I think our theme uh, emanates from uh, the challenges that we are facing. Uh, that need us to be strong to sustain the the, the 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 workers fight for liberation and for their rights at work at work situation therefore that is where our 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 our, our theme is based and uh, uh, it encourages us to emerge to to, to emerge with uh, all strategies that would be able to sustain us uh, going forward uh, because uh, the going is very tough. It's a known fact that uh, crime is on the increase in our country. And according to the latest, latest statement, it is very disturbing because even some of the police members are killed. So what discussions are you having with your members and even government at this stage about reducing the level of crime? Uh, we're coming with a, a, whole, a whole host of uh, 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 proposals to government. Uh, which we think are very important. Uh, one proposal is that uh, government must uh, start to work together, all functions of government, meaning all departments of government that uh, uh, are, are, are there to fight uh, crime must all be working together. You talk about police, you talk about justice, you talk about correctional services, all of them, they must have build cohesion in uh, fighting against crime because uh, as departments, they can't win. Also, we also talk about uh, empowerment of uh, uh, the whole machinery of, of, of criminal justice with uh, capable human capital, with uh, necessary tools to work, and also deal with certain things that uh, we feel uh, are unnecessary to be left alone, like uh, porous borders that are, are, are unmanned this time, where everybody come to South Africa having no papers, and uh, they, we get ourselves overcrowded in South Africa with people who are not supposed to be here. And, and looking back at the recent now policing in Daba, which was held in August, uh, your Secretary General, uh, Jeffrey Zaza, stressed the need to partner with civil society organization also in an effort uh, to fight crime because he said it is a societal issue. Are there any developments in this issue? Yes, I think that is what is important because you can't fight a crime alone. And uh, there, is the, there is development. Uh, we, are start, uh, we are starting after Indaba to talk to different organizations, different NGOs who have interest at heart of their country. We are also talking uh, to other departments that could, that could be of great help in making sure that uh, together we can form a formidable force that would be able to fight crime. And we can't say we fail to fight crime until we achieve that collaboration uh, for us to, move, to, 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 to fight crime. I've seen that uh, the police minister, Peggy Kale, has also addressed the delegates uh, at the Congress. Now, we recently told the police uh, while attending one of the uh, funerals uh, that involved uh, police officers who were killed on duty, he said uh, they mustn't die with the resources uh, that they've been given. He said they must act first and to use proportional force uh, in the line of duty as more police are killed uh, and the numbers are gradually increasing. This must be a concern for you uh, and, and Popro. And do you think that uh, police training is adequate or should there be improvements? I would say that is reactionary. Police must work within the law. So they must work within the law. 
uh, because if if we get angry about situations, we are going to if we get emotional about situations, we are going to make mistakes. We must work within the law because we don't want to lapse to a, the old police force tendencies that uh, we have to fight the community. We have to work within the law, but it's government that must make law adequate for police to, to work within. Such provisions that are adequate for police to work uh, and to do, to do their job. That is what we call it. Because if that is that, that is correct, but if you say uh, react, that is not that's unnecessary. Create policies and law, legal framework that is adequate for police to work. Then you will be able to deal with the situations that are confronting the police. And you've been quoted in in some of the media platforms uh, when when you were asked about the issue of salaries, which has also been a, another ongoing uh, problem. Is there a reason why some members are taking bribes and in some instances are uh, found to be involved in acts of crime that they are not earning enough? I've been very specific on uh, on the salary issue. Yes, there is no country that would be very happy about salaries that are given to police. And then I think there is no government that would be happy about the type of salaries that are given to our police. But that is not a justification for police to take pride. It can't be a justification for police because uh, everybody, we have, we're, we're having the president uh, in the beginning of the conference. We told him about the frustrations of the police. We told him about the frustrations of uh, correctional service members, but it is no justification to take a bribe. It is no justification as a police officer endowed with, it, uh, with, the, with, the, with, with the powers of, 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 of keeping your country safe and to take bribe. That is not agreed to, and we don't agree to that. And uh, when you were outlining some of the issues uh, at the gathering, at the current gathering, you, you spoke about the issue of expanding uh, sectors. How are the talks uh, to expand the sectors going? Uh, expanding sectors where we organize all. I think we're still discussing that. That is uh, that's a discussion that is going on. And uh, it is aimed at uh, making sure that we bring all departments where we organize on and we don't want anyone to be part of it it must be us alone as unions in the police and criminal justice in fact there are other unions that are part of the criminal justice who make no difference in 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 changing the situation that we're facing and we wish that uh, we could uh, develop our scope so that we could be able to change those departments, especially the Department of Justice. That department is not, is not transformed uh, in all respect as, as part of the criminal justice, and we want that department to be transformed. Transformation in that department means, that, uh, means a lot of things. Change in the way they do things. Help the government to perform in that sector. Uh, right now, we, we have a problem in that department. We've got the Jali Commission, the, the Zondo Commission that have uh, given them the job to do, but there is nothing that is going on because that department, it belongs to politicians, is driven by politicians instead of doing its own work. And you have the police that are arresting the, the, the law, who are dealing with lawless, lawlessness. And we've got correctional service that uh, is transformed and it's doing very well in terms of uh, accommodating those that have uh, transgressed uh, uh, the laws of South Africa. But we have got a lazy department called the, the Department of Justice that is not doing its job. And uh, we want that job, that what you call, to be pushed to do its job. At the previous Indaba, you, you spoke about the way you are appreciating the relations you have uh, with the current uh, Justice Minister, Ronald Lamola. He even announced that uh, there was um, a, a, a focus or like an ongoing uh, transformation when it comes to the uniform of the officers that will be now made at the state of the art factory in Whitbank. What else would you say uh, is in the pipeline to, to improve the working conditions of your members? 
I would say Ronald Lamola has done very well as a Minister of Correctional Services. But uh, I, I doubt in the Ministry of Justice. Uh, he has done very well in the, as a Minister of Correctional Services. And he has brought back what we, 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 we thought are sustainable uh, programs of, in the Department of Correctional Services. Farming is back in Correctional Services. Prisoners are, are eating food they worked for. And uh, we have got a uh, uh, uniform factory that has been resuscitated and it's, it's working. Correctional Service produces its own uniform. And uh, we urge, even we urge all other departments to follow what Correctional Service is doing because in terms of the basic condition of Employment Act provisions, it is the responsibility of government to issue uniform to, 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 its, to its workers. All government furnitures uh, before were made were, were, or were manufactured by, uh, uh, by Correctional Service Fetter at Oaksburg. That factory is back online. <clears throat> and uh, and uh, he has done very well and is still doing very well in that part. He's trying to do away with private prisons that have consumed a lot of money for correctional services. And uh, and uh, we, are, we, we appreciate what he has done. He's one minister who you talk to, have a discussion with. Mm-hmm. Wherever you don't agree, don't agree. Where you agree, he does what is supposed to be done. Have you also considered now uh, the brand SA's a call uh, that was made at the previous endeavor to look into now buying local um, goods within your, your union? I think we follow the brand SA what, what, uh, 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 proposal. And that is what we want <coughs> to follow and want to encourage people to do. But uh, that is, it, it, it has a, got a lot of things to do with government. <clears throat> agreements they sign with other countries, like uh, the country have signed agreements with uh, foreign for, foreign agreements with ca- with countries like China, and uh, which are not uh, which are not agreements that are are benefiting our country, because uh, all all clothing that is that we 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 make in South Africa become so so expensive compared to what we, we, we bring from China. And that is based on agreements that we sign with, with other countries. And we so wish that politicians or government, when they sign agreement, they must look at agreement that benefits our country first, then, then just signing agreements of business. What about the concerns now, Mr. Kabokulo, of police officers as well as correctional uh, services officers that are finding greener pastures in other countries? What comments do you have on that? There's nothing we can do about it, but uh, right now our, our correctional officers are being lured to, to Australia and New Zealand and other countries uh, because of training that we have, because of endurance south africans have in their work and uh, we are going to be confronting a lot of problem in the same way as uh, as the department of health is con- has confronted in the years ago with regard to a, uh, nursing leaving our country for better rewards so as we wrap up this interview, what else are you discussing at the Congress and what message do you have uh, to share with South Africans who don't have faith uh, in your members? Uh, I think we, we, we have, we, we're, doing, we're dealing with documents. Uh, there are some research documents that we, came, we, 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 have, uh, we have developed during the police endeavor that we are going to adopt today. Mm-hmm. One is ideal policy. What type of policing do we want in South Africa? What, 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 looking at everything, what could be an ideal policy? What could be an ideal corrections? Mm-hmm. Uh, what could be an ideal uh, the traffic uh, 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 department in South Africa? And also we have emerged with a very balanced document on gender-based violence, which is our document, not government document. It's a document that look on both sides, but on, on issues of gender-based violence. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also looking at uh, 
certain things uh, that with regard to foreign direct investment and how could we as police help in making sure that uh, uh, South Africa attract foreign direct investment. Other issues are issues of uh, issues of electricity in South Africa and uh, which uh, what, what effect do they have on policing at large and corrections at large? That was Pop Crew President Dr. Ziza Melekebekulu in conversation with policy discussing policing issues as the union celebrates its 10th Congress.